The climate word of the week is climate. <laughs> Bet you didn't see that one coming. <laughs> so what even is it? Well, climate is the average weather and temperature in a place measured over a long time. It's how we know if a place is mostly hot or cold, or if it rains a lot or not that much at all. It's like the weather's personality, you know? How it usually is over a long time. Different places have different climates, like Florida. It's mostly hot and super moist, right? But Colorado? It's colder and drier. Perfect for skiing, huh? People have been keeping track of the climate for a long time. Understanding the climate helps us know what clothes to wear in each season, what plants grow best in our garden, and even what to pack when we go on a trip. So, what's a climate like where you live? Don't forget to come back next week for another awesome climate word of the week. Bye. Oh, Sprout, our friends are here. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm calm, I'm cool. We rehearsed this. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. One, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. three. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our show. show! Come explore, there's always <gasps> more to see, to do, to feel, to grow. The world is big, but you and me can learn it all from sky to sea. With Sprout the super great sidekick, and Susie Hicks the climate chick. I'm Susie, I'm a climate advocate. I'm so happy to meet you. And this is... Um, I'm Sprout. I'm a sunflower. I'm just too little to bloom yet. But one day, I will grow up so big and so tall that you won't even be able to see over my leaves and I'll be the best plan ever! <laughs> you are already the best. Can you tell our friends what we're learning about today? Yes! Today, we're answering the question, what is climate change? Such a great question. Thanks. <laughs> climate is made out of weather like huh? sun, rain, wind, huh? and snow, huh? and temperature, uh, like how hot or how cold it is. And it's measured over a long period of time, which helps us understand what the weather is like usually in different places. But climate change happens when the weather and the temperature shift over time. In our case, on Earth, the temperature is getting hotter and hotter. But why? An extra great question. To learn how our Earth is changing, huh. we first need to figure out how it normally works. <laughs> Earth is called the Goldilocks planet mm. because it's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's... It's porridge! Close. Huh. Earth is called the Goldilocks planet because the temperature is just right. Nice. And we have something called the atmosphere <gasps> to thank for that. Can you say that with me? Atmosphere. Our atmosphere is like a big, beautiful blanket around our planet. It works to keep some of the sun's heat from escaping into chilly outer space. Love that for us. Our atmosphere is also like a greenhouse. Have you ever been inside of a greenhouse before? Yes, I graduated top of my class from one when I was just a seedling. Of course you did. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sprout, mm -hmm. can you Sprout explain mm -hmm. that for our friends? Climate is the combination of weather, like sun, rain, and snow, and temperature. You know, like how hot or how cold it is over a long period of time. Oh, super important. Climate change is about long-term changes in the weather and temperature here on Earth. But there's more! Our planet has this ginormous, super fluffy blanket called our atmosphere, which also acts like a greenhouse. We'll learn more about that next time. Whoa, nailed it! Come on, let's go catch up with Susie. Join us next time as we explore how modern human life is impacting our planet. But before you go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel to keep up with our adventures. Hey, where are we going? And remember, solutions are everywhere, everywhere. especially when we work together. Susie Hicks the Climate Chick. And me! This episode of Susie Hicks the Climate Chick was filmed on the traditional lands of the Tongva, Tataviam, Serrano, Keech, and Chumash people. Learn what indigenous land you occupy and support indigenous communities at native-land.ca. Hi, Climate Buddies. Have you ever celebrated Earth Day at your school or in your community? Once upon a time, 
in a faraway land called Santa Barbara, California. Something happened that changed the world. It all started when a group of people were drilling for oil off the coast, deep beneath the ocean waves. But then something went terribly wrong on one of the platforms, causing thick black oil to start spilling into the ocean. This sticky sludge spread across the coastline, hurting everything in its path. Birds, fish, sea otters, and other wildlife were caught in the mess as beautiful beaches turned murky brown. It was the largest oil spill in California's history, and it shocked people around the world. But one person was especially moved by what he saw. Far away in Wisconsin, a junior senator named Gaylord Nelson watched the news with a heavy heart. He knew something had to change. Senator Nelson had a big idea. He thought, what if we could bring people together to learn about protecting the planet? He wanted to create a nationwide teach-in where schools, colleges, and communities could talk about the environment and learn how to make a difference. He teamed up with a young activist named Dennis Hayes, and they got to work. They chose April 22nd for the event because it was right between spring break and final exams, a perfect time to get students involved. On that day in 1970, over 20 million people showed up to learn about local issues, clean up their communities, and advocate for more protections against pollution. And you know what? It worked. They called the event Earth Day, and that one event led to the creation of the Environmental Protection Agency and important laws like the Clean Air Act, the Clean Water Act, and the Endangered Species Act. These laws help protect our rights to clean air, safe drinking water, and healthy ecosystems. Today, Earth Day is the largest non-religious holiday in the world. More than one billion people in over 190 countries celebrate Earth Day every year, coming together to protect our planet and make the world a cleaner, greener place. And this story has no ending because the movement keeps growing every day. It's like a seed that keeps sprouting new ideas. So for now, I'll just say to be continued. Join me again for another climate bedtime story. And remember, solutions are everywhere. I'm Susie Hicks, the Climate Chick. Sleep tight and dream bright.